this looping animation is really easy but it has a little trick to it which i'm gonna tell you step by step so first of all we will be needing this model option is we can just go to the image and reference bring a reference and start modeling on that but we don't want that go to the file and import a file which will be called svg a scalable vector graphics in that we will use this svg file of Vin and yang if you also want this you can find this in the description as well first thing we gotta do is just delete the curve 001 selecting the rest right click and set origin origin to geometry we have to align all now select all go in the top view and move it to the 3d cursor in the center now zoom in more zoom more 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 and align it properly now we have no need for the bigger circle you can just delete it now selecting the rest let's go to the object data properties now select the rest and go to the object data properties and let's extrude them by pressing shift so it extrudes slowly but we have a problem which is only it's extruding only one if you press alt and shift at the time it will extrude all at together let it be something like this for now now selecting the curve 004 scale it a little bit more because we have to make a hole in this bigger one because it doesn't have a hole first of all let's just right click and convert to mesh now go to the modifiers and select a modifier boolean and select our mesh but there's a problem we can select it to select it we have to convert it also to a mesh now we can choose eyedropper and select our mesh and we are done we can just hide ctrl a to apply our boolean and right click shade flat now selecting both this object press ctrl j to join them but they are not joining again can you guess why yes because we have to convert this to also a mesh let's convert it and now join them let's just make it more little thinner go into the top view and the most important thing we have to do is right click set origin to 3d cursor because if we rotate on z axis now it makes a perfect circle yay so just for fun i have set my end point which is start point to 60 and my end point to 120 go to the 60th frame now press i and click on rotation and rotate it on the z axis which will rotate at 120th frame on the z axis by minus 360 again press i and click on rotation now it is rotating selecting these keyframes right click change interpolation mode to linear because that will affect our looping animation if it is not linear go to the first frame shift to duplicate now we gotta rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degree which is minus 90 degree pressing n right click and clear keyframes now selecting our object which is rotated press ctrl a and apply the rotation now the final thing we have to do is to scale it on the y-axis by pressing minus and one on your numpad so it looks like this make sure to save your file as well now lastly press i and rotation and go to the 120th frame rotate it on the x-axis by minus 360 and give it a rotation keyframe again now if we check our rotation is a bit different it is lagging behind you have to just select the keyframes and set the interpolation mode to linear and that will fix the problem and you have a nice looping animation now when you render it make sure you are rendering from 60th to the 119 frame why not 120th because the 120th and the 60th frame are the same if you make a render it will have a little glitch of pause that we don't want so and it till 119 because after 119 again the 60th frame will come so you get the idea now to achieve the effect that i showed you in the intro first of all press 3 and go to the side view and then add a camera to the scene now go to the camera properties and change perspective to orthographic and press 0 to look through the camera move it a little bit up so that it's in the center now press n and change the rotation of x to 45 degree so you get something like this after that add some lights to your scene as well before we go ahead and animate our camera what we have to do is before going ahead make sure you have reset your start point to zero and end point to 250 and selecting your keyframe press shift e to and change the interpolation mode to linear extrapolation with that applied the animation will keep on looping forever now to animate we will add a plane axis to our scene bring it in the center of our object and then selecting everything light cameras and lastly plane axis and ctrl p and object selecting the plane axis press i and then click on rotation and then same copy this rotation to a last frame to a head frame and then rotate in between as however you want it to rotate so you get something like this 
that's crazy at the end i would say if you really enjoyed this video you can like subscribe if you really enjoyed and subscribe for more future videos as well so thank you guys see you in the next one